Hello all. In this video, we'll be discussing about how to calculate running sum and running average using SQL. So for this, we'll be using the report table, which is from interview schema. Now let's run the select query to see what all data and what all columns we have in that particular table. So we have invoice ID column, department column, invoice date column, and sales column. Now we'll try to find out running sum and running average. Now let's first understand what is running sum. So running sum is nothing but the cumulative sum. So that means if I consider the first record, so the first record is showing the total sales is, sorry, or the sales value is 20,000. But when I move to the second record, the cumulative sum or the running sum value will be 20,000 plus 10,000, which is 30,000. But for the first record, the cumulative sum or running sum will be 20,000 because we don't have any previous record. Then when I move to the third record, it will be 20,000 plus 10,000 plus 20,000. So the cumulative sum will be 50,000. So it depends on the current row and it will calculate the sum of the current row along with the previous rows. Now, when I move to the fourth row, it will be 20,000 plus 10,000 plus 20,000 plus 5,000. So in this way, the running sum or the running total is calculated. So it is also called as cumulative sum. And running average is just finding out the average of the running sum. So if I'm in the first record, the running average will be same as whatever the sales value you have, because we don't have any previous record. But when I move to the second record, it will be 20,000 plus 10,000. That is your running sum. That is 30,000 divided by how many rows? So now we are in the current, uh, the, so, sorry, the current row is the second row. So the total rows will be two. So 30,000 divided by two. Now here also it depends on the current row. Now when I move to the third row, it will be 20,000 plus 10,000 plus 20,000 divided by three because now I'm in the third row. So in this way, running average is calculated. Now let's see how to find out using SQL. So first we'll be calculating running sum. So I will write select query, select, let's say invoice ID, comma department, comma invoice date, comma sales. And then I will try to show the running sum or the running total. So for that, I'll be using some aggregate function, sum of sales then over order by invoice ID. Now let's understand this. Now, whenever you're trying to calculate running sum, you need to use the sum aggregate function as a window function. So for that reason, I've used sum of sales over. So when I mention over just after your aggregate function, now that aggregate function becomes a window function. And in that over, I am just passing order by invoice ID. Now, why I am passing order by invoice ID? So in order to find out the running sum or the running total, you need to have a column which is unique or which is holding unique values. Now in this table, we have invoice ID, which holds unique values. So I need to arrange that particular column, which is unique in ascending order. So that's why I mentioned as order by invoice ID. So either it has to be a primary key column or a unique key column. Then I will give a name to it. Let's say running underscore sum. Then from interview schema dot report table. Now let's execute this. Now this is my sales value and this is my running sum. For the first record, the sales and running sum will be same because we don't have any previous record. Now for the second record, the sales is showing is 10,000 and the running sum will be 20,000 plus 10,000 which is 30,000. Then for the third record, the sales is showing is 20,000. So the running sum will be 20 plus 10 plus 20. So in this way, running sum is calculated. Now similarly, we can find out the running average. So in that, we have to just change that aggregate function from sum to average. That's it. And we'll change the column name. We'll give the name as running underscore average. So that is the only change we need to do. So now for the first record, it will show as 20,000, same as your sales value because we don't have any previous record. Now for the second record, it will be running total is 20,000 plus 10,000. That is 30,000 divided by number of records is two because now I'm in the second row. So 30,000 by two is 15,000. Then I'm, when I move to the third record, it will be 20,000 plus 10,000 plus 20,000 divided by three because I'm in the third record. So it gives us, it gives the result as 16,666.66. So in this way, the running average is calculated. Now, what we'll do is, so we have tried to find out uh, running sum and running average on the overall. Overall, what is the running sum and overall, what is the running average? Now, if the question is, I want to show the running sum of sales or running average of sales with respect to each department. 
under each department, I need to show what is the running sum of sales or running average of sales. So for that, what we need to do is we need to add partition by inside over. So adding to order by inverse ID, I need to mention partition by department because department will be my upper hierarchy. So I'm trying to show the department as well as the invoice ID. So it's obvious that under each department, you will be having different, different invoices. So department will be the upper hierarchy and inverse ID will be the lower hierarchy. And we're trying to show the uh, running sum or the running average of sales with respect to the upper hierarchy. That means under each department, I need to show what is the running total or the running average of sales. So the only thing that we need to change over here is just add partition by inside over. So partition by department because under each department we need to show. So the name is DEPT and order by inverse ID will remain as it is because we are trying to find out running sum. Now you can see for department one. So first will be 20,000 then the second one will be 20,000 plus 10,000, which is 30,000. Then the third one is also from department one. So it will be 20 plus 10 plus five, which is 35,000. Then we have the second department that is D2. So again, it is starting from the beginning. So the first record is 10,000 over here. So it is showing running sum as 10,000. Then the second record is 20,000. So the running sum will be 20,000 plus 10,000, which is 30,000. And the third record is 5,000, which is 20,000 plus 10,000 plus 5,000. So running sum is 35,000. Then when we move, it moves to the third department, again, it is reinitializing to the first value. So the first value over here is 3,000. So the running sum is also showing as 3,000. Then we have sales as 15,000. So 15,000 plus 3,000 is 18,000 as the running sum. Then we have 8,000. So 15,000 plus 3,000 plus 8,000 is 26,000. And the last one is 19,000. So 3,000 plus 15,000 plus 8,000 plus 19,000 is 45,000. So in this way, we can calculate the running sum with respect to each department. Similarly, we can calculate the running average as well. So I'll just copy this query and I will just add partition by over here. Partition by department. Here also with respect to each department, it will show us the running average. So first one is 20,000. 20, then the next one will be 20,000 plus 10,000 divided by two, that is 15,000. Then the third one will be 20,000 plus 10,000 plus 5,000 divided by three, 35,000 by three, which is 11,666. Then we have the next department. So again, it will start from the beginning. So first one will be 10,000. Second one will be 30,000 by two, which is 50,000. The third one will be 35,000 by three. Again, it is 11,666.667. Then for D3, the first record will be 3,000 because the sales value is also 3,000. And that is the first record. And the second record, sales is showing as 15,000. So the running average will be 15,000 plus 3,000. That is 8,000 divided by two, which is 9,000. And the, for the third department, it will be 15 plus three plus eight. That is uh, 15 plus 3 is 18, 26,000 divided by 3, which is 8,666.67. And for the last one, 26,000 plus 19,000. That happens to be 45,000. So 45,000 divided by 4, which is 11,250. So in this way, we can calculate the running average as well. So wherever the upper hierarchy is not involved, no need to mention partition by, just mention order by. But wherever upper hierarchy is involved. So when I say upper hierarchy is not involved, that means on the overall, I'm trying to show the running average or the running sum. But whenever the upper hierarchy is involved, that means with respect to some other column, I'm trying to show what is the uh, running sum or the running average of sales. So here with respect to each department, I, I was trying to show running sum of uh, sales and running average of sales. So in that case, we have to use partition by and the upper hierarchy column, which is department over here. So that's it from this video. Thanks everyone.